using a chair to pull herself up. This woman walks slowly in great pain. The body brace she is wearing in support of her spine shows that she is suffering. Ms. Mangosana Motswane's black card reads that she has a problem of difficulty in walking due to disc herniation and spinal stenosis and is booked for an operation. This is the medical report explaining the severity of the case. These are the x-rays explaining the affected spine. All the way from South Africa, Ms. Motswane has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations believing that God Almighty will put an end to her problems. Let's hear from her. My name is Mangosana Mutswani. I'm 55 years old and I come from South Africa. I have a difficulty in walking due to uh, disc herniation and uh, uh, spinal stenosis. And I'm using body brace and I am booked for operation. I'm unable to work. I haven't been working for the whole year. I depended on my children, and they're very small, 12 years and 6 years. My son had to leave the wife to come and help me. They clean the house, they cook, they do almost everything for me, including, you know, help me. Lately I can't be able to wash myself, but it was a difficult thing to do. My 12-year daughter used to do it for me. I had been to the hospital which, where I saw different um, specialists and uh, I invited the intercessors to pray for me. I've done almost everything to be able to get help. But uh, I was shocked when I was told that I have to go for another operation due to the fact that there is a nerve that was touched when the operation happened and it's causing a lot of extra um, problems in my life. And what's the purpose of the, the body brace? It helps me to, it, it brings the spine back and if I'm not wearing it like when I walk, I feel like I, I, there's a sound behind when I walk and I get tired, so I, can't, I can't sit long, I can't stand long, I can't walk long. We can see an x-ray beside you. Can you tell us uh, what does this x-ray show? Okay, the, this one shows the, what happened in my system when they did the first operation because the discs were removed and I couldn't, actually I couldn't stand, I couldn't walk. Um, so they had to hold the spine so that I can be able to stand up and be able to walk. But after some time, uh, they picked up that uh, on the next one, that the, the L3 and L4 disc is also affected. I believe that Jesus will use uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua um, to heal me. Healing takes place as the power of God is released upon Miss Motswane. The body brace is removed and one more touch from above finally frees Miss Mutswane from affliction. Thank you, Jesus. She is healed. Yes, to God be the glory. That was a wonderful miracle that we just watched right now. Well, we thank God Almighty. Madam, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Tell us your name and share with us your wonderful testimony. My name is Mankosana Mtswani. I'm 55 years old. I'm from South Africa. Yes, share your testimony with us. Um, I, I came here due to difficulty in walking, especially when I walked, there were clicks behind my, in my spine, and that put a lot of fear in me because I didn't know when I'm going to break. So I decided to come to Synagogue Church of All Nations 
Okay, now before you came to the Synagogue Church of Foundations, as we watched earlier on, we saw that you had the problem of difficulty in walking due to discarnation. And um, tell us, how did this problem affected you? And what do you do as a profession? Tell us, how was the problem then? I'm a banker by profession, and I couldn't work uh, since the accident until today. And uh, my children, I had to depend on my children for almost everything. Uh, like I said, even my son um, had to come to be with me in order for me to have support at home. And where did you go in search of a solution to um, the problem? I've been in different hospitals, seen difficult, uh, different specialists, but still I, I couldn't really get help. I invited intercessors because I believe in prayer, but the thing still persists. Okay, tell us, when you went to the hospital, what did the doctors tell you and what recommendations were you given? When I went to the doctor for what I thought was my final a visitation and release, I was told that um, uh, there's a, now a different problem in my spine because in the middle of it, the L3 and 4 is now dislocated and I must go for another operation. Mm -hmm. And we saw you, you were using a medical device. What was it? That is the body brace. It supports your spine so that when you are standing, you can be able to stand when you walk, it protects you in a way. So was there a solution to this problem you were having then? Not really. It was there just for support, like the name itself, but it didn't help me. I went for exercises. I did all these things, but they couldn't help. Okay, to God be the glory. So tell us when you came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, what happened? So I came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. I was privileged to be on the prayer line, and the man of God prayed for me. But before he prayed for me, the lady that was standing before me, the one that couldn't hear, was like shouting and saying, I'm healed, eh? I'm healed, I'm healed. Man of God, I can hear loud and clear. And immediately she said that, I, I, I think, I, I believe I received my healing then because I said I'm healed. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And the man of God, I got a chance for a man of God to come and pray for me. I wanted to scream and say, man of God, this, man of God, that. But I, I, I just freezed. But he came, he buckled off the brace, and he touched, he touched me at the back, but it felt like a hammer. It felt like he used a big hammer, and in my mind I said, oh my God, I came to be healed, now it's like my spine is broken now. <laughs> because the clicks that I used to hear, they happened so quick, more like something has been aligned. I can't explain it. It's, my body was like, okay. That's why you see, even when I walk, I was shocked if will I be able to walk because I just received a hammer behind me. But behold, God healed me. Hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> so you mean immediately the man of God came to you and he touched your back. You felt and heard that sound, and it was as if your spine was being aligned back into position. Yes, it was the very same thing that I feel when I walk. It was like it's put back in order. Mm. That those clicks, but yo, it felt like a hammer, mm. big one. That is going to smash and finish me. But it was just the power of God finalizing. Mm. Like they say, when you are here, it's 50%. When he lay his hand, 100%, everything was done. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. So now, after that anointed touch, now you can do all the things you could not do before. Yes, ma'am, I can. Wow, to God be the glory. Put your hands together for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, to the glory of God, people are watching and listening to you. Can you show us now what you can do now, the things you could not do before? I can now? walk and I can walk even fast. I don't hear any sound. I can walk nicely, majestically. I don't fear anything. And I can turn. 
like that, I can go down without any pain. Wow. Hallelujah. Now, for the benefit of people listening to you and watching you, many people have that similar problem and they don't know how to get out of it. What advice do you have for them? I want to tell everyone watching at home that when the men of God truly say, when someone is getting healed, tap into the anointing. Because there's no barrier. I, I, it's not because I was in synagogue church of all nations. It is the belief in my heart that made me healed before he even laid his hand on me. Mm -hmm. So I want to advise them that believe in God. What he did for me, he will do for you too. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you very much for that wonderful advice. Indeed, she's letting us know that we should put our trust in God Almighty because that is the greatest decision you can make in life. Well, we thank God Almighty for what the Lord has done for you, and we also want to encourage you that you should go and make us for the standard for your life so that that healing will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Y hemos escuchado el maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer que vino de Sudáfrica aquí a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un terrible problema de dificultad para caminar. Ella estaba sufriendo de estenosis de columna, así como de hernia discal. Esto le afectaba muchísimo, ella no podía moverse ni hacer sus actividades diarias. Tenía que ser asistida por sus hijos, en especial por una hija de 12 años que tenía incluso que asearla, ella no podía cocinar ni ocuparse. Tuvo que dejar incluso su trabajo como banquera debido a este ter terrible dolor de espalda. Ella asistió a diferentes hospitales y especialistas, pero no le aportaban ninguna solución. Eh, se había sometido ya a una primera operación y las consecuencias no habían sido buenas para ella. Le ofrecieron eh, programarla para una segunda operación y ella rechazó esta posibilidad y decidió recurrir a Dios y venir aquí a la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones. El profeta Tibilloso, el hombre de Dios, oró por ella, tocó su espalda e ella inmediatamente sintió como todo se recolocara en su espalda. Sintió ese toque ungido de Dios. Se levantó y empezó a caminar majestuosamente para la gloria de Dios. Desde ese momento ella ha recuperado su vida. No siente ningún dolor, puede correr, puede agacharse, puede hacer todas sus actividades sola y sin ayuda. Y viene hoy a darle la gloria a Dios por esta sanidad. Ella nos aconseja que creamos y que cuando estén viendo en Manuel TV, espectadores, atrapen la unción porque la unción está disponible. Que crean en Dios porque así como lo ha hecho con ella, también puede sanarle a usted. Así que damos toda la gloria a Dios en el nombre de Jesús pour ce merveilleux testimonio. Téléspectateurs, nous venons toujours d'entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cette femme qui vient de l'Afrique du Sud. Le problème qui l'a emmené à la synagogue église de toutes les nations, ce fut une hernie discale, une sténose de la colonne vertébrale qui a causé une difficulté à marcher. Elle devait toujours porter un corset lombaire pour soutenir son dos. Elle dit qu'elle fut aussi programmée pour une opération dont la première fut un échec total, causant plus de mal que de bien. Elle dit que voilà qu'elle marchait, il y avait toujours des craquements dans sa colonne vertébrale causant des douleurs atroces. Elle fut à la recherche de solutions de plusieurs hôpitaux, des spécialistes, physiothérapie, mais toujours le problème persista. Elle dit quand on une banquière, ceci affecta sa carrière et ses enfants devaient toujours l'aider. Les jeunes enfants âgés de 4 ans, 12 ans, devaient cuisiner pour elle, prendre soin d'elle et même que son fils a dû euh, abandonner sa maison et venir prendre soin d'elle. Elle dit que voilà, c'est donc pourquoi elle est venue à la Scoane, synagogue de toutes les nations, cherchant la face de Dieu. Elle dit voilà, le prophète Sibidio Chapria pour elle. Elle ressentit comme un coup de marteau géant dans sa colonne vertébrale, comme si sa colonne vertébrale fut brisée en petits morceaux et ensuite rassemblée, régénérée. Elle dit que sa colonne vertébrale fut alignée quand le prophète Sibidio Chapria pour elle, après sa délivrance, la puissance de Jésus-Christ fut guérie. Maintenant, elle peut faire toutes les choses qu'elle ne pouvait plus faire auparavant. Il n'y a plus de craquements, plus de douleurs. Maintenant, elle s'exerce librement. Les spectateurs vous encouragent à tout le monde de faire une requête d'onction que la distance n'est pas une barrière. Ce que Dieu a fait pour elle, Dieu le fera pour vous. Les spectateurs, restez connectés pour la suite et rendons gloire à Dieu pour tous les témoignages. Let us pray.